Oh man, you got this. Whoa, what an, what an opening. Greetings, gamers, knights, or hornets, if you know that much about the lore. Welcome back to Hollow Knight. Um, last time I played this bad boy, it was streaming. Um, you know, shout out to everybody who supports my streams. Um, <laughs> I did that. I don't know. I don't really like streaming. I gotta be, be really honest. You know, like I'm, I'm working on it. Um, I've always wanted to be a streamer. All people who do what I do, you know, the video thing, the heavy compulsive edit, video editing thing. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've watched my fair share, and I've always been like, why don't you just, why don't you just stream? You know, like if you can do this, you can do that. It's not, it, you can't. <laughs> um. I'm, I'm learning it pretty hardcore. I'm, I'm trying to get there, though. Um, but, irregardless, uh, what I am doing is playing a lot of video games that I like now. Uh, some for the channel, some not for the channel. And this is one that I wanted to get back to because, as I mentioned... Whoa! On the previous recording, I have yet to beat this. Ugh. I mean, like, comfortably. Ah, I forgot. Man, I'm... Out of practice, been playing every other Metroidvania I own. Um, yeah, I, I've never beaten this. Which is tragic, because it's lovely and it's, you know, it's, 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 well, I guess I should go back to the store, right? I shouldn't have come down here. Um, anyway, you know, there's kind of a hierarchy of things the good videos made <laughs> on my channel. Uh, number one is Possibility, which is why I'd... the reason I'm playing this instead of Metroid Prime right now, because <laughs> the hook and the switch up is a lot, and I'm not in a lot mood right now. Uh, second, um, you know, it's kind of a request, a request protocol. <sighs> uh, love you, Zelda. It was something I was saving up for. Oh, I got enough cash for all of them. All of them now. Yeah, I guess I just kind of like saved and quit. But there was someone I was going to buy something from down in the nest, but I didn't pre-watch that video. So why don't we just buy all these? Because like for the first time ever, we've had all the money at this stage of the game. And I'm probably going to immediately regret it. Like the second I do this, I'm going to be like, dude, you were supposed to be saving those for something. And the more I press the button, the more I think about I should have been saving it for something. But... I don't think anybody cares if I just spend an abundant amount of time playing this game. It's going pretty well in all the others, Metroid, Castlevania, etc. Um, <clears throat> Castlevania is what I should have been playing, you know, what I should be playing right now. But it, uh, maybe I was just saving up until I, ha I could afford them all, right? I didn't buy any more notches. I was just like, I don't really need it until I have them all. Yeah, so now I have all the all the notches. Do I have double jump? No. What I got last was the shot, I think. I think that's the only thing I got. Well, you can check, right? Where is it? It's under the... Yeah, I found that thing. Right. So I have the shot, focus, map, and the city quell. And that's it. And just the regular old nail and nothing else so far. Right. Okay, so I'm still really early in the game. Uh, Hey, what's up, bro? You there, why are you skulking about in the shadows? Yes, your eyes do not deceive you, I am Zolt the Mighty, and I colonel before me. While you were hiding here in this dingy little village, I ventured into the dark pit below and slew a great beast. And sharp mandibles and atrocious manners. Yes, yes, all glory to me, but I don't have time for your adulation. I must rest and prepare to my next journey down. I know the feeling. I know the feeling. Um... Anyway... Uh, someone requested this, you know, somebody in person came to me and was like, hey, when are you going to do some more, some more, uh, Hollow Knight videos? And, uh, you know, it always touches me, it always touches me, it's just like, oh, I didn't know you cared. Um, right now, actually, you know, Hollow Knight is a game that I'm playing because I love it, but I do admittedly have a wealth of knowledge on the game 
So it's one I've maybe feared. Is uh, let's go with feared, legitimately feared recording because I, I'm worried I'll, I'll stop talking and I'll just sit here and enjoy the game. Um, which is a real risk, and you know. We made the transition pretty much to full commentary at this point. Like, there's a couple of games that I'm going to keep doing without commentary, and there's a few coming up that I'm going to do some interesting commentary suggestions for. And there's even a couple that I am still going to, you know, like I'm still just going to let it ride with no mic. Uh, I don't know, it's something I've considered streaming. Because part of the reason, one of the things I'm not a big fan of in streaming is, you know, for lack of a better word, the audience. Ah, oh, you son of a gun. It's got me in buying a commando so much, too. Like, you just, you never learn. You never learn to hear the sound. You never learn to walk slower. You just keep getting eaten by that thing over and over again. Until you're like, how do I have no little little white faces left? And it's just like, well, because you kept getting eaten. Um... Let's see, see, right there. I saw it so late. It's give me my health back. And I'm gonna take your soul. All right. <clears throat> uh, you know, like I don't like. It's just like people who seek to, you know, like derail your stream to like keep you off task or just like unforeseen things. I love that in the editing process. I can remove all that from my recordings. I love that, you know, I never have to worry about... Uh, can't go in here. Because I don't have... No, I definitely don't have that yet. Um, so where am I going? I guess I'm going over to the right and down, because... Let's see, to the right of that Forgotten Crossroads bench. That's the room with the guy. Alright, we're going down to the right. Um, you know, so when you stream, it's just like, well, this, well, I guess we're not going this way. From the moss and leaf is, the yeah, lost leaf our life is drawn, while it grows upon the path, we shall never wilt. How lovely. Never give up wilting, le er, thorns. Always be a thorn in my side. Uh, irregardless, there's, um, you know, just, it's just anxiety and every, every ounce of that anxiety, everything that can go wrong during a stream is like, I face them, you know, in my brain before I start streaming, before I start hooking up the equipment, before if it's just like, what about if this happens? 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 I don't think other people who are good at streaming go through that. I think they just, like, turn their stuff on and turn their mic on and just have a good time. Because, when I, you know, it seems so effortlessly for them. And I understand that there's certain people who don't have... And, like, you know, like, I, ha I, duh, I have anxieties, but I just, like, there's so many things... ...in life that I just did not realize were so weird about me versus, like, quote-unquote normal people. Because even to this day, you know, there's, like, I get, oh, it's, oh, if I look on my phone right now, there's a friend of mine streaming, and when I watch them, it's just like, yeah, man, they're just sitting around playing wacky Switch games, having a good old time. You know, I know they're friends, I know they're, like, people who hang out in the streams and everything, and it's just like they're friends, they're just, like, chilling, it's just like, you don't, no, this bothers you, and they're like, yeah, I mean, you know, sometimes it's weird, but that's streaming, and I'm like, ah, that's... It's like soul crushing, you know, I feel so much pressure. Anyway, this, you know, this is why I'm a weird dude. This is why, you know, I can spend uh, so many, like I can chop my brain up into a hundred different pieces so that I can play this game and I can control this and I can be thinking about ideas to design my video game and I can be, you know, thinking about what I'm going to cook for dinner and all this other crazy stuff. But no, I can't. I can't get there, and I can't do this either, but no, I can't, you know, I just can't get on the stupid microphone and talk to randos while I play video games. I thought at first it was the game in question, you know, I've tried a couple games that, like, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> tried a couple games that I didn't necessarily like, you know, I thought, like, like playing a game that was, like, outside my comfort zone like that would do it nope 
then it was like, all right, try games you're like super comfortable with, you know, like maybe that has to do with it. And it's like, well, so far, nope, you know, like I'd say I've done some pretty. Oh, just, you can just eat all Hadouken, you know, like we don't even have to interact. Why are you spitting? Why are you spitting? Yeah, swing your blade. Let's fight like gentlemen. Um, you know, so now I'm just in, kind of at a weird point where it's just like, well, I guess what I'll do is I'll stream when I'm not, you know, frankly doing other things. I mean, I, I, I'm beginning to suspect that maybe that's where the compulsion comes from. Is that like you have some quote unquote free time? And instead of spending it alone in a vacuum, you know, you spend it, you know, like with some people and try and, you know, like just like do more of that. But like that, I don't want to do that. <laughs> um, I would love to stream and just, I mean, maybe I could like do it private, or, but that doesn't seem like the point. I don't know. It, again, this is all part of the pressure. You know, I can only imagine other people not thinking about this as they go through the process, how much more they must get done. Uh, and meanwhile, I spend, and I mean, you know, I mean, we're in the middle of a recording, right? This is Hollow Knight, and, you know, this is the kind of crap I'm not going to edit out. I'm going to leave it in because I'm playing Hollow Knight during it, and this game is awesome. But at the same time, it's like, what kind of content could I be putting together if this isn't what crazy crap was on my mind right now? Who, well, I, I could be streaming, right? Like, if I could get over this, I could just be streaming Hollow Knight right now and instead of having to worry about, you know, video concerns, I could be worrying about stream concerns, but I'm not. Because, uh, you know, like after I made my dinner shrimp earlier, I was like, I, I got to play some games, right? Because I, I have been working on Chef Game a lot, you know, like there's a... Uh, what's this one say? The great mind once dreamed of leaf and cast these caverns so, and every bush and vine none of un reveals itself to us. All right, cool. Shadows to Mun, or Un. And, um... <clears throat> I've been working on Chef Game a lot, uh, which is good because I'm, you know, like I'm broke, right? So Chef Game is really the only way I'm going to get paid. YouTube is, I mean, I don't want to say they're tripping, but it's just, you know, like the YouTube says, it's not, it's not lucrative. You know, like you got to, you got to do a whole lot of videos of yourself doing a thing you love before YouTube is willing to pay you for it. And even, even before you get there, you know, like we're at the point now where they just, um, they want you to hustle people, you know, like they're not even going to pay me at first. At first the bars are going to fill up and then I'm going to be able to charge you guys for stuff. I'm going to be able to hit you guys up for tree fitty. And then, you know, after I after I prove my worth in that arena, then I can I need to go down, sir. Ow. And I was really hoping that I wouldn't have to interact with you in any way, but I wound up having to get just a little Whoa! That's all right. I'm not afraid of you. I need your soul. Give me a soul. Give me a soul. Give me your soul, little guy. Ah, delicious soul. More white face. Uh, stag boy sign? Really? Where the heck? Did I really just go all the way around instead of the way I should have gone? Yep. <laughs> I mean, if I was making progress, but that's fine. You know, it's the, that's what we do on this Let's Play thing. We, we meander. If I learned anything on Metroid Prime, it's like, for some reason, when you put the headphones on, when you do it, you have to talk like a different train of thought. Your sharp memorization of these games, your, like, like your sharpness during these moments, it, it dulls. I guess it's good, you know, that keeps it interesting. Certainly me playing this game like this is more to watch than is more interesting than me like playing it via commi uh, with like committed brain cells. Come no closer, ghost. I've seen you creeping through the underground, stalking me. This old kingdom, a terrible thing awakens. I can smell it in the air. I know what you are. I know what you're trying to do. I can't allow it. I don't know about that. You'd be the first to defeat me so far. Ooh. Ugh. You're no match for me! Yet! Mm -hmm. You want more? 
I forgot this is a game where bosses actually, you know, take a minute to rest every now and again. So much personality. Love it. You know? Like, look at her. And yet, I'm in love. This is one of the coolest characters I've ever seen. There's no denying the internet, you know? Ugh, either. The internet adores Hornet. Rightfully so. She's earned every single ounce of the care. I mean, I'm sure a great number of them are like, you know, per weirdos or whatever, but... In terms of great character design... For a... What is the word? duo antagonist. She's crushing it. Yeesh. Unfortunately, whoa! We have tangled quite a few times. Ah, uh, but you're brand new, beauty, but bye! You've taken the Mothwing cloak. Press R2 to dash forwards. Use the cloak to dash forward on the ground of air. Was a what? Would it seek to break the seals? They cannot be undone. They must be undone. Let us sleep, little shadow. Return to your darkness. Allow us our peace. Ugh. You hit me with so much energy. Eh. Alright. How about you, little guy? You didn't make it. But, kind of sick air dash, air dash. Man, Metroidvania is so good. Like, this is so good. The good ones, anyway. I've done some, you know, like, now that I've been, like, opening my trap about the genre, I've been, like, thinking about what other games kind of qualify as a Metroidvania. Like, what really identifies these games. Because, I mean, there's definitely some huge overlap between just these and, like, regular old adventure games, you know? Like, where do you draw the line between something like, uh, like, I mean, I guess like Alone in the Dark, but, you know, I know it's just like God of War, any like third person single adventure game nowadays, but, you know, honestly, those games are, they're, they're heavy on action. This game, you know, the action is not the selling point. Like, it's good. It's great. Like, the action is great, but this really is all about the exploration, you know? Like, if you, if you aren't lost in this game, you're really not appreciating it. And I've, I've seen playthroughs of people playing games similar to this, that they're having a bad time. And it's because the game has not been able to mix them. You know, like when when Survival Horror was young, <clears throat> there were a lot of gamers who were, you know, very convinced. Lake of Un. Greetings. I do need to rest a little bit. Update the map. What's going on? Quirrell, oh, hello there. Seems we both tread far from the path. I can hardly believe those dusty old highways led to such a lush and lively place. This building suggests some form of worship, though its idol has clearly been long forgotten. Doubles equally well for a moment's respite. I get ya. You know what, Quirrell? You are right. Um, You're a bad guy. I got double hit. Double KO! There you go. Down for the count. Um, so like I'm playing a lot of Metroid and it's like, you know, that, that that's another example, you know, like the combat isn't super strong. It's there, it's like it's a functional enough super shooter, but the real draw of that game is the exploration and, you know, like I, I again, because I'm playing it, well, you know, with a microphone in my mouth the entire time while I'm trying to think of a line of, like, interesting dialogue to carry on. I find myself getting very much, uh... <laughs> very much distracted, he said. With his phone suddenly alight. Um, what button am I pressing to look at the... Nope, that's the recording button. Um... Yeah, now we go this way because we can dash, so we can go the other way. 
So I don't know. I think I guess you know, like it's if if you could think of a game that you'd like to see me stream, like I was playing Power Wash Simulator earlier, <laughs> which is not a game. It's um, yeah, you know, if you want to call it any, it's like homework at best. But it's uh, it's 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 it's, it's, it's an interesting homework assignment to take on. Uh, it's an it's a homework assignment with achievements or trophies or you know whatever platform you're playing on. So there's that. And it's got a bunch of levels to it, but it's still it's still a weird game where you where you where you clean stuff. Um, Markiplier played it pretty famously, and he's 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 got pretty hard you know like the the narrow spiciness. Um, it seems these days pretty much we all got like a taste, you know. But Mark, really, you know, he's got a real special brand. And uh, I've been told, you know, like for people with like brains with really like the ADHD thing, like going hardcore, I, I can see why a game like, well, you know, Minecraft is an example, but uh, like uh, uh, the Power Watch Simulator kind of speaks to you. Because uh, it's exactly what you get, you know, it's just like we just we just put a task in front of you, man, and we just want you to go to town on it. Um, and the task is, you know, it's not even that hard. The green children walk from the dreams into these lands. Here we now shall wait, patient for the call to return. I think there's a trophy for reading all of those, finding all of those. Not that I'm, like, particularly trophy hunting, but, you know, I'd love to have a bunch of trophies on this particular save. Uh, I realize that the version of the game that I did play the most on is the Switch. Um... That's not, you know, like, and I even still have it on my Switch. I considered firing up that save, but I was like, dude, just play it on the PlayStation again. Oh, this is where you fought, not fought, but this is where you saved Motto, or Auto, whatever his name is. Um. It can be fun, you know, like, but it, it, it bores, it bores me. Um, you know, we've talked... Well, not on this, because, you know, it's like second time, second second actual recording. Wow, you, you'd think there'd be more of these. You know, as much as I like this game, you'd think there'd be more of these recordings. Um, anyway, like the second... Second. Um, I, I know a thing, you know, like the, the, once I, I know everything, about, like I, I completely lose interest, which is why, like, we're still back here, even though I've, like, played this game a ton, because... There is still a great big unknown, and even, you know, even in the sense that there are a lot of Metroidvanias that I, I would play again because they're that good. Um, but I've, you know, like, I've never even, like, truthfully treasure hunted this. So there could still be some, like, wild power-ups or secret buses that I haven't seen, and that's always, you know, like, it's, it's, it's always... Ah! And uh, I'm always down for a situation like that. I need to heal myself up a little bit. Uh, Power Wash Simulator, though, like what you see is what you get, you know. And even the game, it gives you, whoa, it gives you a handy dandy checklist in case you know you find yourself getting a little distracted. In case you're finding yourself just like shooting the power washer a little bit, you know, like to to pass time. Whoa, what's up? Oh, right. Yeah, I actually remember you guys. But I need a little bit of concentration to deal with the fact that you keep spitting at me, bro. And each spit is a slightly different color. Oof, and a roll, you know? Like, there's one I'm supposed to dodge, and there's one I'm supposed to hit with my sword. Oh no, we're not done. You... The two of you, at once. Okay then. Give me another shortcut. Still don't have a map of this area. Cornifer! We'll get to that. I'll dig it! The Balder Shell. Yeah, like, see, there's there's a ton, a ton, a metric ton of relics in this game. Um, the little, or charms, the little things you can equip at the bench. I've definitely never seen them all. I've seen a lot of them. You know, I've even seen a couple that it's like, I know this is later on in the game, and I've, you know, due to my weird FOMO thing, 
kind of avoided going to where I know they might be in the game because then I'd get it and for some reason my brain thinks that would be a bad thing to the gameplay. Anyway, um, but I've never just like filled out the map, you know, pulled the old Symphony of the Night, pulled the old Satin, or pulled the old, really any, any of these games where you're just like corner to corner, edge to edge, make sure everything is filled out. Um, yeah, I think I gotta go through that room. Like, I don't think I can just, like, escape, which is good, because I need... Well, that's not good, because my health is poor, but I could use it to restore a little bit of health on these little guys. I keep switching between the analog and the digital stick, and I honestly... I'm not sure if that's, like, if that's... Oh! Uh, every time! Oh, no, there's nothing down there, just those guys. This is just the room to get this thing. It's, it's totally fine, right, because you can't... You can go through it, but there's nothing over here, right? Yeah, all right, that's fine. Um, so it'll be fun, you know, and it's, it's, it'll also be nice to record it, because there's also, like, uh, um, there are parts of this game that are great that are later in the game, and when you have, whenever you start up a, a, a Hollow Knight save, they're definitely the parts that you're like, ooh, I would love to see that part, and it's like, yeah, that's five hours into the game, bro. That's, like, so many boss fights, so many this so many that's but uh i am excited you know i still remain excited to keep going on through it because it, every time i record myself playing all these things i find out a little bit more about it than i knew to begin with you know to say nothing oh i didn't mean to do that uh i meant to charge oh he's gonna kill me I gotta go, boss. Please don't spit at me anything from me far. Thank you. Alright, now where? Where? Oh, where is my bench? The bench is so far down. No! But I'll take some free soul. Ah, much better. Uh, that thing is dangerous and I keep getting hit by it. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, <clears throat> you know, Metroid learned a whole lot about... Whoa. <laughs> uh, how the Metroid series was, de was developed. Um. Castlevania's just opened, honestly, just tons and tons of doors involving what's gonna happen next. I mean, I didn't... have a real cohesive, you know, like... Ah! Castlevania plan for the going future. I just, you know, just like play Sodden, but then you, you know, you, 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 you put your computer in a headlock to record a couple episodes of Symphony of the Night without lag. You get a couple ideas for what you want to do next. Um, so believe it or not, we just hit 30 minutes ish. So. I'm gonna flubity flabbity floop you guys here so I can build up some recordings. Anyway, um, shout outs to you for watching. Uh, have a good evening. <laughs>